Hey, my name is Freddie Wong. I'm here with the Creator Academy, here to talk to you about alternate frame rates, specifically frame rates up to 60 frames a second. To experience high frame rate in this lesson, switch to HD quality in the YouTube player now. Frame rate refers to how many frames of your footage play in one second. For example, video formats often play 24 frames per second. HFR, or high frame rate, generally refers to frame rates that play faster than 30 frames per second. So watch this 24 frames per second footage. As Freddy's running, you'll see his hands are moving and they're blurry at 24 frames per second. Now watch this 60 frames per second footage. The jump rope is moving and very crisp and clear at 60 frames per second. Why would you use something at the 60 frames a second? Well, the same reason why you would try using different aspect ratios or different color correction or maybe shooting it in black and white. It's all changing the form of what you're doing. And by changing the form, you're hopefully also affecting the way your content is received. 60 frames a second has a very specific look because you have, well, 60 frames a second. It's a little bit smoother. Wait, is this in 60? Is this in 60? Yeah. Because look at that. Normally, something like this and 24 frames a second would be sort of smeary, motion blurry, what have you. But here, aha, every moment, every weird hand movement I'm making right now is capturing excruciating detail. 60 frames a second is uh, great for getting the sort of uh, motion that you get in sort of fast scenes, fight scenes, car chases, uh, anything that has sort of very fast motion. You probably won't notice 60 frames a second in something like, say, a big, long, steady landscape shot. But it has an effect in terms of the way motion is seen uh, elsewhere. So Video Game High School is actually a show where we used a split frame rate, where for all the stuff happening in the real world, we shot at 24 frames a second, and everything that's happening inside the video game, we shot at 48 frames a second. So the idea was with 48, you had more of a video gamey smooth look, and it was a really easy way to distinguish the difference between what the video game world was and the uh, real world. Normally, you know, people have done this with things like color correction, aspect ratio, like The Matrix, for example, right? Everything in the real world of that movie is blue and everything inside The Matrix is green tinted. We, would, we didn't want to do something so drastic like with uh, color correction, so we decided to evoke that difference visually by changing up the frame rate. There's like a new generation of viewers, viewers who are sort of more used to things at a higher frame rate, things like uh, video games, which might play at 60 frames a second. And you get a lot of benefits. Like take, for example, the sort of shot of a car wheel spinning. At 24 frames a second in a lot of movies, the car wheel starts to spin, but then it looks like it's starting to spin backwards. It's kind of got a weird effect. Uh, helicopter blades, anything that's sort of fast and spinning. 60 frames a second in higher frame rates gets you around that by getting the direction right. You know, 24 frames a second is great, but it also has these weird motion artifacts that we've now, in this day and age, come to accept because that's the way movies always have been. But it doesn't mean that's the way movies always have to be. And the question really at the end of the day comes to if you like that look and if that look serves the story that you're trying to tell. In terms of action, even if you don't end up liking the look of 60 frames a second, I always recommend shooting at a higher frame rate uh, or even double your frame rate just because if you ever want to do a slow motion effect, you can always just have that there and have that... Uh, uh, ability to go into slow-mo. I like using higher frame rates for things uh, that are action-oriented or sort of very quick moving. You know, I think uh, that the look of it is a very realistic look. You know, I think it starts to fool your eye into looking at what you're seeing as something that is sort of uh, no longer through the, the lens of like cinema and more sort of a real life look at something, you know, like, and uh, what I found is that a lot of times that helps for, let's say you're trying to do like a more realistic vlog or something that is a little more documentary style, it puts you in there a lot more uh, as a viewer than compared to something like 24 frames a second where you're like, oh, this is clearly a movie. So what's cool about YouTube enabling 60 frames a second is that, again, it opens up more of a palette in terms of what you as a creator can do. You know, uh, If you're capturing game footage, if you're doing game commentary or any sort of video game stuff, it allows you to capture things in a very smooth frame rate uh, and really play back at exactly what you're seeing. If you're doing live action stuff, you're working with cameras, you're working with uh, uh, shooting things, then it allows you to have another option in your big palette of tools in terms of how you want to express your story, your image, and what you want to get across in your videos. This has been Freddie Wong. If you're interested in YouTube videos, 
videos, you should check out my YouTube channel. It's youtube.com slash rocket If you're interested in more tutorials and how-tos and little explanations of film stuff, check out the Creator Academy. Oh, the link's right here. <laughs>